Sally has rapidly strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane over the past couple of hours. It's at 28.7 degrees north, 87.0 degrees west as of 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time this September the 14th. The storm has strengthened so rapidly, in fact, it's already on the upper end of Category 1 status with winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 986 millibars. It's moving west-northwest at 7 miles per hour and is a stage 5 on the CDPS scale. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, let's get into that right now. That means that wind speed is significant, your storm size is moderate, your rainfall potential is major, tipping on extreme, and your overall threat to land is major. You're at a 5 out of 10 on the CDPS scale, and while that seems like a mid-range storm, and it is a mid-range on this scale, don't be taking that lightly. That still means devastating damage is possible from this storm. Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, all within that stage five. If you're within hurricane warnings in particular, you're well within the stage five of the CDPS scale. So let's take a look at the damage potential. Again, that is devastating damage potential. Here are the tropical storm force wind field. Tropical storm force winds are already impacting Florida, um, Alabama, and even a little bit of Mississippi, and those tropical storm force winds are gonna be continuing to approach and impact land over the next few hours. It's currently, again, at 28.7 degrees north, 87 degrees west, and again, it's a category one hurricane, a surprising development. So let's take a look at the watches and warnings here. Um, it is a storm surge warning in effect for Fort Fortune, uh, Louisiana, to the Alabama-Florida border, and Lake Pontchartrain, Lake Murrapas, Lake Florin, and Mobile Bay, all within storm surge warning. You can see those hurricane warning, tropical storm warnings, and tropical storm watches in effect as well. This thing's 93 miles away from Pensacola, 121 miles away from Mobile, 135 miles away from Biloxi, 142 miles away from Gulfport, and 175 miles away from New Orleans. You can see there are lots of watches and warnings in effect. This storm is extremely dangerous and should be taken seriously. Stay tuned to your local officials for the latest information on the storm and how you can evacuate or what other preparations you should take. So let's take a look at the um, estimated intensity right now. Your CIMS S80 T going at 50 miles per hour, RAM at 70. That doesn't matter because the National Hurricane Center Force 13 are running with 90 miles per hour as a result of reconnaissance aircraft data. And you can see there on satellite that infrared minus 80 is starting to overspread much of Sally. This is an extremely dangerous situation. The storm is intensifying extremely quickly. So what's the forecast for Sally? Well, Force 13 has created a cone here, and we are forecasting a 110 mile per hour peak with a 110 mile per hour landfall uh, currently near New Orleans. New Orleans and Pensacola are both within that cone. So this does have a large area where it, it could make landfall for the size of the storm. So there are lots of areas that are within these big impacts. You can see just how far those hurricane warnings do extend. After the storm does make landfall, though, it's expected to weaken relatively quickly and be a post-tropical cyclone and not even last three days from now. So what's rainfall looking like? Well, the National Hurricane Center is forecasting over 20 inches of rain in some spots, and you can see that there right along the Mississippi coast into Louisiana. This is a five-day rainfall graphic, and you can see there over six inches falling well into Alabama, and even over four inches into, um, you can see there, North Carolina and other areas. So lots of rain from Sally impacting a large portion of the United States. What are sea surface temperatures looking like? Excellent for the storm, 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. That'll be plenty to keep it intensifying up to landfall, which again is what Force 13 is expecting. So what are the chances of tropical storm force winds? Well, you can see they're near 100% uh, for areas along the, uh, anywhere from really the Florida Alabama border all the way to near New Orleans. You're at near 100% chances of getting tropical storm force winds there. And you can see those actually do extend north quite a bit into Alabama and Mississippi as well. And then your chances of hurricane force winds, you can see those there too with your 80 and 90 percent um, starting to get into the uh, Louisiana area there. So a pretty dangerous situation is unfolding right now and uh, you should be keeping a very close eye on this. So what are models thinking about this? Well, here's the intensity guidance and this is while they still had it at 65 miles per hour. Still a category two or three peak on the h wharf and h -mon. You can see there those other models already blown out of the water by how quickly this is intensified. When it comes to wind shear, shear is going to remain low enough for intensification for the next day or so, then shear is going to increase substantially. You can also see there on track, a landfall is likely in the United States. It looks like it, it's honing in on a Mississippi landfall um, on the latest model guidance. You can see those sea surface temperatures will be just fine until landfall, and mid-level relative humidity will be sufficient for further strengthening. 
So here's the infrared picture. You can see a closer look at Sally on infrared satellite here uh, with those minus 70s and 80s really starting to overspread the storm and this thing becoming really symmetrical, especially in the past few frames there. New recon flights are continuing to fly in there and the storm is intensifying very quickly. So stay tuned to our social medias in order to get the latest on this storm as it is expected to intensify further than this. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, force13.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash force13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook with more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. Teespring.com slash store slash force13. That's where you can find things like the smug mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash force13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.